again and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is for a very easy crocheted rainbow. Um, it starts as a circle and then we just fold it in half and crochet together. Um, I'm going to start with the violet colour and we're going to start with four chain. So slip knot onto the hook. I'm using a 5mm hook and double knit yarn. So slip knot onto the hook. We're going to do four chains. One, two, three, and four. I'll just zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> We're then going to join into the first chain with a slip stitch so just yarn over into that chain and pull through both loops we've now got a circle we're going to work 12 half doubles into that first circle so to do the half doubles for the first stitch I'm going to work two chain that counts as the first one and then yarn over into the middle of the circle pick up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops so there we've got two stitches yarn over into the loop pick up a loop uh, sorry into the circle pick up a loop yarn over and through all three we've now got three stitches I'm going to carry on until we've got 12 half doubles into that first circle First one, which was the two chains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just squeeze those round a little bit. Nine, ten, eleven, and the final one, twelve. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the two chain that we did as the first stitch with a slip stitch pull the tail of the yarn tight we're going to snip off the yarn and pull the loop through to fasten off the first colour so I'll just snip off pull the yarn through and pull to tighten off so the next colour I'm going to use is what I would class as an indigo um, in this case it's going to be a purple shade of yarn um, I'm going on the the basic rainbow colors but obviously if you're using up scraps of yarn you can use whatever um, you've got to hand really so again we're going to start with a slip knot onto the hook I'm now going to work a standing half double into any of the stitches from the previous row so yarn over into the stitch pick up a loop we've now got four loops uh, sorry three loops on the hook and the yarn over we're going to pull through all the loops together we're then going to work another half double into this same stitch so all the way around on this row we're going to increase in every stitch so we just work two half doubles in each stitch all the way around and at the end of this round you will have 24 stitches so just a straightforward half double into each stitch So I'll carry on working around mine and I'll meet you when we reach the end of this row. As you get round to the last stitch where we work two half doubles, we're then going to just join into the first stitch with a slip stitch. Snip off the yarn, pull the loop through. We're now ready to start with the third colour and 
for my rainbow my third colour is going to be a royal blue. So again we start with a slip knot onto the hook and we're going to work a standing half double into any of the stitches from the previous row. So yarn over into the stitch, yarn over three loops on the hook, pull through all three. So this time we're going to increase in every alternate stitch. So in this first one we're just going to work one half double. In the next stitch we're going to work two half doubles. Oops, got a little bit of orange yarn on there. So we've got one half double in the first stitch, which was the standing half double, two into the next one. The next stitch will just have one stitch. The following will have two. So we work all the way around this row, increasing in alternate stitches. So one half double into the next stitch and then we've got two half doubles into the next one half double and then two half doubles into the next one half double and then two half doubles into the next stitch and I am working over the tails of the yarn as I go along so that we've got not, not got lots of yarn ends to work in. So we've got one into the next stitch, followed by two into the next. So if you just want to carry on all the way around working one half double, two half doubles, one half double, two half doubles, until we get round to the other side. Again at the end of this row, the final stitch will have the two half doubles we just join with a slip stitch to that first stitch snip off the yarn pull the loop through to fasten off we're now going on to the green yarn and on this yarn again we're going to increase but instead of into alternate stitches we're going to have two stitches in between the increase stitch so slip knot onto the hook, join into any stitch around the circle and we're going to work a half double into that first stitch. We're going to work a half double into the next stitch. So we've got two half doubles, one in each. The next stitch is the increased stitch so we're going to do two half doubles into that stitch and then we've got one, two and then in the third stitch we're going to work two half doubles. So again one, one and into the third stitch we're going to work the two half doubles. So I'll let you carry on all the way around again working one half double, one half double into the third stitch we're going to do two half doubles, one, one and two, one, one and two and carry on all the way around to the other side. And at the end of this row we're going to join into the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch, snip off the yarn and pull through. So the next three rows, which are going to be yellow, orange and red, we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to start in a stitch and each time we're going to have one more stitch in between the increases. So if we start with one half double, one half double, one half double, and then in the fourth stitch we'll have two half doubles and then work one, one, one and then the two. With the orange we're going to add an extra stitch again between the increases. So each row that you do you're going to have one extra stitch in between the increased stitches until we've worked up to the red um, band around. So I'll let you carry on 
working the next three rows so that the video is not going to go on forever um, and I'll meet you when we get to the red row show you the start of the yellow row so I'm going to start with the half double the standing half double into that first stitch and on the green row you'll be able to see that you had two stitches in between this time we're going to have the three stitches in between so we'll do one two and three and then the two half doubles into one stitch followed by three half doubles on the orange row you'll have four half doubles in between the increases um, and I'll meet you when we get to the end of the orange row. Got to the end of the orange row I'm going to join again with a slip stitch into the first stitch and pull the loop through. So we've now completed all of the full rounds that we're going to do. With the red one it's slightly different because this is the round where I'm going to join the circle together in half. So if you just fold your circle into two and make sure that all the yarn ends are all in the middle. We're going to join with the red yarn over at the side here. So I'm going to slip knot onto the hook and I'm going to take the two loops of this first stitch. So we're going to yarn over into both loops one of the, the front stitch, one at the back stitch there. Pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through Oops, all three loops. I'm now going to put this yarn inside the two halves. We're going to do exactly the same all the way around until we get about halfway. So the, yarn, the hook's going to go yarn over through the two loops of the stitches, the front and the back. Pick up a loop, pull it through, yarn over and pull through all three. So this is creating a row but we're actually joining the two halves together at the same time. So yarn over through the two stitches, pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three. And just carry on until we reach the halfway point which in this case is about here. If you want to just pop a stitch marker there so that you know which stitch to stop at um, you can do. So just carry on joining the front to the back through the top of each stitch until we reach that middle point and at that point I'm going to work the loop that you can hang the heart in your window or from wherever you want to hang it from. I've used a, a suction hook on my window to hang two hearts, uh, two, sorry, two rainbows from. Getting confused with hearts, I've just been making the heart sets. For the local hospital. So we're going to carry on working the two halves together by working through both stitches until we reach the halfway point which in my case is the next stitch along. Once we get to the halfway point I'm going to now work a chain and you need the chain to be double the length that you actually want it 
to be able to hang up so in this case it's about that sort of length so just chain however long you want the handle to be depending how far you want it to hang down on this one I'm just going to do a short one but feel free to do yours any any length that you want and I'm just going to join into the top of the last stitch that we did with a slip stitch to fasten off that particular stitch and then I'm going to carry on working the two halves together through the top of the two stitches at the front and back now I've not stuffed my heart at uh, my rainbow but if you want to um, stuff yours once you get near to the other side of this final row you could put some stuffing in before you do the final few stitches if you want it to be more of a padded rainbow so I would say from this point if you want to stuff your rainbow you could use this little hole here the gap to stuff to make a padded rainbow and then carry on working those last three or four stitches just to fasten off and close up the rainbow so at this point we just snip off the yarn pull it through and then with a needle you can just thread the tail of the yarn just through and back inside the finished rainbow so there we have it a rainbow nice and easy and you can hang it up in your window or wherever you want to hang it i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you again soon thanks for watching bye